Good morning guys, I hope you are doing well. It is the start of a new week. This morning I went to check on the new flat and then I went and got my nails done by Dom. We went for a pistachio colour, um, which is lovely and summery. And just the word pistachio, as soon as she said it, I was like, I want that colour. Um, so yeah, I'm trying lots of new colours at the moment, which is really nice. And then what else have I been doing? Um, just been doing some work and bits today. I'm about to go get my vaccine, my first dose, which I'm quite scared about. Um, I literally decided yesterday that I was going to go get it done today. I'm going to like a drop-in centre really nearby. And yeah, I mean, I hope it goes okay. I have an event tomorrow, my first like big event in ages, a premiere. So I hope I'm not going to feel like too run down tomorrow. Um, but I will let you know how it goes and obviously I was really debating whether to get it or not but a lot of my friends have got it, a lot of my family have got it so yeah I've just decided to go for it. Um, so that's what I'm doing later today and then Love Island actually starts tonight so I'm kind of unsure whether I'm going to watch it or not. I don't know. It's always quite daunting like committing yourself to that series because it is so long but I do love the start when they do all like the introductions and all the sort of like you get to meet all of them um, and I do love Laura Whitmore so that'll be nice to see her so I might I might start it and just kind of tune in here and then but I feel like you either need to fully commit or not watch it at all so I don't know. So I'm going to show you my outfit because I've got a new little gym wear outfit on from Pocket Sport which is Louise Thompson's brand and she kindly sent that to me so I've been wearing that all day and I'm also going to show you a little gifting I got from Hotel Chocolat. I'm super excited about this delivery because I've literally wanted one of these for so long and I've heard such good things about it and in the winter I literally have a hot chocolate like every evening so yeah and they've also sent me like all their vegan drinking hot chocolates 10 single serves oh my god classic i don't know if i like dark I, i'm not really a dark chocolate fan but i'm very excited to try this one asked for the charcoal sort of gray color because it's going to match the new kitchen in our house so it's beautiful and they also sent these two little white mugs to go with it so I'm very, very excited for this. You know you're getting old when this sort of thing excites you, but like how stunning is that? So this is my outfit that Louise kindly sent me from her brand. It is one of their newly launched um, workout kits. I think it's called the Plain Air. Um, but I love the sort of combo of colours. It's got the white, the sort of nudie beige colour and then the black. <laughs> useless at vlogging today um i worked out this morning at Corflex and did a reformer pilates class which was really good and then i went to the house had some meetings there about house stuff renovation stuff just got my hair done at harry's um which is where i always go for my blow dries I just asked them for like a beachy wavy blow dry because i am off to a premiere tonight which is super exciting i haven't been to an event in so long even though it's pissing the brain i'm like can't wait it's gonna be so good i literally used to go to an event once a week and yeah i just can't remember the last time i went to like a fancy event this is my dress i will show you a full length i'll do like a mirror video it's from coast and it's super cute it's um like i think it's called a scuba puff but I'm, maybe i'll link it in the description box but yeah i'm wearing that um i've got these ysl oh does that kind of come out these YSL earrings from Vinti Drop. Um, I'm borrowing some of Liv's heels that she's kindly lent me, and I've just got like a little black 365 bag. Um, but yeah, I'm excited and can't wait to just have like a fun night. Um, also can't wait to see Scarlett Johansson because she is literally girl crush for me. She's so beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'll try and film a little bit of the premiere, but get a little bit awkward filming in public so we shall see the full length of the dress and then these heels this bag 
Good morning guys, so I'm just having my morning water and uh, vlog yesterday. Um, I was quite hungover actually from the premiere, which is probably the reason that I didn't feel like vlogging, but I'm feeling a lot better today. I had an early night last night. Premiere was so much fun. Um, and we went for some drinks afterwards. I don't know why I'm out of breath right now. And this morning I have my Renew underwear, which um, they've just launched some new colors. So I got the blush pink set and I wanted to show you guys that on. And then after that, I'm gonna go get a coffee and then me and Liv have to go to Shoreditch to get COVID tested um, because we are starting filming again very soon. So that's kind of annoying because it's so far away. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that together. She's gonna drive and um, I've got a work call at 10. And yeah, just little bits and bobs today and then going out for dinner tonight at Aragon with Liv and Emily. Um, also, I want to fill you in on an appointment I had yesterday and something that I've decided I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, first let me show you the Renew underwear. So this is the new set that I've got from their spring summer launch. Um, it's the blush colour, which is just stunning. And this is the bra that I went for. I got it in a size medium i will try it on for you guys to see the fit but yeah i just think the medium size fits me better but then for the um bottoms i always go for small so these are their like boxer brief style and then these are the high-waisted briefs that i normally always end up wearing and then i've just got the little thong as well so these are the first uh style which are kind of like the boy boxers so they're super comfy. I don't think I would even wear them out, but they're really nice just to like lounge around the house. And I also like put a big t-shirt over. So these are actually my favorite style that Renew do. They're like the high-waisted uh, briefs, super comfy. Um, and I love, 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 love. Just put on a light base of makeup because I am going out for dinner with Liv and Emily tonight. We're gonna go just for like a really chill dinner at Aragon. Um, so that'll be really nice because I haven't seen Emily in ages. Um, and the appointment I wanted to talk to you guys about, I went to a dentist called White Co yesterday and saw a dentist called Dr. Christina. Um, I had braces when I was younger and I've never really thought I would have to do anything else to my teeth. But as you can see, like, this is attractive. My bottom teeth are slightly crowded. Uh, top teeth are fine. But she said this one is starting to move a little bit. I think that's from not really wearing my retainers after getting braces. But I was kind of thinking she would say I don't need Invisalign. But she was like, I really think you should get it. Because, um, yeah, the bottom teeth are slightly crowding. And she said the top ones are starting to move. So I think I'm going to be getting Invisalign. And she said I'm going to need it for about 10 months. Um, which is a long time. But she said that they you get so used to it and you don't even realise it. And yeah just becomes a, really, a part of your life so that's going to be happening in a month um she also said i can get whitening but the problem is my teeth are so sensitive and i've heard from so many people that when you whiten your teeth they get they get really even more sensitive so i don't know if i'm going to do that i feel like i might try, might not because yeah my teeth are so sensitive i can't even use an electric toothbrush that's how much um i feel things so yeah i think i may miss the whitening but yeah i'm going to be starting invisalign crazy um let me know in comments below if you guys use Invisalign or have used it and yeah what it's like um I really did think having braces when I was younger my teeth would just be sorted for life but I don't know teeth are so important it's like the first thing I look at when I see someone so I really want mine to be really nice my hair I got it blow dried two days ago for the premiere it's kind of lasted I just put some dry shampoo in it but I've also ordered this this is not paid post or anything I just saw it on actually Sophie Boo's story um, and it's basically meant to be like hairspray. I find whenever I tie my hair up, I get those random strays, which I hate. So I think I'm gonna do a ponytail tomorrow and try this bad boy out and I will let you know what it's like. Um, but yeah, I just thought that's so much better than hairspray because with hairspray, I find, yeah, it makes your hair so crispy and I don't like it. But yeah, I'm gonna go out for dinner now. Have a great day. We've decided we're gonna Barkley bike to Bluebird. To Raffles. No, Is sorry. this a really bad idea? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, good, good lord. There are some major roadworks going on outside, so I do apologise for the background noise. 
um but i am just home and i'm just having some avo toast which i'll show you um some sausages vegan richmond sausages um and i went and got my vaccine this morning i forgot to fill you guys in but basically when i went the other day to the drop-in center they didn't have any Pfizer left they only had AstraZeneca so I couldn't get it so I then booked an appointment I found out my NHS number I got my mum to send it to me and then booked one so I just went this morning um and it was completely fine I had to sit in this waiting room which I think everyone has to do for 15 minutes afterwards and while I was in there this guy behind me was like I'm not feeling good and then like fell to the floor so that was um a little bit stressful to witness and maybe suddenly I started thinking am I not feeling well and um yeah I hope he's okay. Mm. Yeah, but it was fine. Um, I was meant to be starting. I look so tired. This is no makeup. I was meant to be starting, obviously, uh, filming today, and someone has actually tested positive for COVID in the cast. So now we can't start for 10 days. So that's kind of annoying. Um, obviously not the person's fault but yeah we're just not able to film for the next 10 days so that's also happened but um i'm gonna end this vlog here and i hope you guys enjoyed it uh let me know in the comments below um i'm gonna get on with eating my arrow toast and having my richmond sausages see you guys in the next one